everyone, it's Teresa here with Homeschool Primer. And today I just wanted to talk to you. Um, this is a video for those who have decided to make that decision to homeschool. And first off, let me just start by saying um, congratulations and give you a little, bit encourage, little bit of encouragement. You can do this. You are equipped. Um, if you love your kids, which I am sure that you do, then you will only want to see them succeed and grow. So don't be discouraged. Be excited. You're on this journey, and there are many others on this journey with you that will be glad to help. And that's my big tip. Um, find other homeschool groups that you can be a part of in your area. Um, this is where you can actually learn from other homeschoolers. They've been in your situation before and they know how it feels and they, they have always been so helpful to me. Veterans, seasoned homeschoolers, um, even sometimes newbies. We all learn from each other, and it's just really important that you get connected with um, a homeschool group. Now, that could be there are, there I'm sure, in almost every area, um, local homeschool groups on Facebook uh, for whatever area you're in. There are park homeschool groups, which is where you just meet up and you guys just go to the park and you discuss different things while you're there. Just socialize. Um, that's the big word. They, everyone gets so scared of when they say homeschool. How will they socialize? Well, we meet in clubs. We go to parks. We play in sports. You name it. And that's another thing too, clubs. Um, so I'm sure there are clubs in your area um, in our area, we have a 4-H club, we have a beta club, there's co-op, homeschool co-op groups if you want to join a group, um, which we have done in the past. We've joined, uh, joined several different groups. Um, we're in one for two years, then in another for two years, just depending on um, your kids and, and um, you know, what's, what's available because people do move and things change and things like that. So, and another one is... Um, uh, we use My Father's World, and they have a synergy groups is what they encourage. And although I could never get one started here myself, um, synergy groups where you do they have a particular, um, say My Father's World is what it's based off of, and you meet together, and then go through activities and things based on the material that you're learning in that particular um, My Father's World curriculum. So, and hey, if there's not one in your area, start one. Start one and just put the word out there. And I promise you, you will get responses and interest. Um, I, and just build a community together of homeschoolers. So that's my big tip. But I wanted to get to really three main important things that you need to note when you are starting to... Um, or, or when you're actually, you've made the decision to homeschool. Okay, so um, the first one is to check your state's requirements for homeschooling. Every state is different. Every state has a different requirement. It could be um, um, they need you to file an intent to homeschool. You may need to register your homeschool. Um, you also may need to, um, some states require a high school diploma for the actual teacher or um, uh, of the homeschool. Some require a college degree. Um, others, um, you may have to get your curriculum approved by um, sometimes I've heard, uh, it's not in our state, but I've heard in some states um, they need to get, you need to get your curriculum approved by the public instruction. So I guess that's the superintendent of public instruction. Um, and then there's just many different requirements. So make sure you go um, to the website for 
non-public instruction in your state and find out what those requirements are. And if you have questions, do ask. Um, there's many, for our state, we have a Facebook homeschooling for just our state, and there's many questions that pop up all, you know, constantly about this very thing. How do I do this? How do I um, get started with homeschooling? And that's the very first thing you should do is contact um, non-public instruction for your state and um, take a look at the requirements. Now, um, another thing that's extremely important to determine how your kids learn. It's extremely important um, to either take, and, I, and I'll put um, underneath this video, I will actually list some websites that you can go to that you can do um, an online test. And I would test yourself too. Test and find out how you learn and how your, your child learns. Um, I mean, it's they could be verbal. They could be visual. They could be kinesthetic. They could be a combination of several. And it's just really important to find that out. And it will help you as you're actually um, going through your homeschool material with them. You can customize it based on how they learn um, and how and where their struggles are, where they lie, and um, and and maybe um, you might just find out something about yourself. So I'll list that. There's some books and there's also some websites. Sorry about that. My doorbell rang and I had to go get it. Um, so let me finish. Um, so get to know how your your child what they how they learn. And then step three is I would research homeschool curriculum. Now, this can be really hard because there's so many out there, but um, there are, if you just do a search on YouTube, you will find um, curriculum reviews, which we have some here on our YouTube page as well. Reviews and curriculum, homeschool curriculum unboxing, so you can see what people are using um, we also do, I know other homeschoolers do, inside the curriculum. So looking inside, you will get, you know, you can take a look at videos to see what is inside. Will this fit my child? Um, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes when you just see it online, but you're not able to look at it and see if it's a good fit. And right now with the COVID-19, some, some places are still not open. So even if the curriculum was there, um, they're not open, so you won't be able to look at it. So these videos are very helpful. Look at reviews. There's also um, a really good book. It's uh, 100 Top Picks for Homeschool Curriculum by Kathy Duffy, I believe. And I will put a link to that underneath all this because um, that was very helpful for me when I was picking out curriculum. And, um, and, and also, there are companies that do this for you. So you don't have to pick. English, math, science, there are complete curriculum um, sets by grade. So um, I'll put a couple of those uh, underneath uh, this video. If you know that those are helpful too, because sometimes you just don't have time to to do this and and um, schedule and all of that. So they do it for you. Um, one other thing to note is also that if if it doesn't work for your children. If whatever you pick does not work, don't worry about it. You have the ability and the flexibility to change, and that's what's so wonderful about homeschooling. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, feel free to ask any questions. I'd be glad to answer those questions or direct you to the place that uh, you can find your answers. Um, again, this is Homeschool Primer, and I hope you will subscribe to our YouTube page for, for more. Thanks. Have a great day.